Hey everyone, I just wanted to give a quick public policy update. Um, as folks know, it's been really busy, but I want to talk quickly about another bill. This is one that CICASA has been working on for years with uh, many different stakeholders around the state, and it's finally been introduced and has a hearing on the calendar. So Senate Bill 128 is a piece of legislation that is designed to clarify Colorado's medical mandated reporting statute. Colorado is one of just a handful of states that has a reporting requirement that applies to adult sexual assault victims that are seeking medical care and our purpose with this legislation is to clarify that statute and to create more reporting options and choices for adult sex assault victims who come forward to get medical care so through this legislation we hope to uh, do a few things we're going to be uh, creating an anonymous reporting option we know that sometimes for victims talking to law enforcement um, and not having protection of anonymity can be extremely intimidating uh, so this is a way for victims to get medical care to get evidence collected um, but still have some anonymity with law enforcement and to have that evidence stored anonymously and through that process we hope that victims are able to learn about their options um, and maybe help develop some trust and build some rapport with law enforcement so that they, if they do want to further engage in the criminal justice system they feel safe doing that. Um, another piece of the legislation is clarifying that if there's an adult sex assault victim that is just getting some medical care related to the sex assault. Maybe an individual wants to make sure that they don't have an STD or an STI. Maybe an individual wants to make sure that they're not pregnant. Um, so in those cases where an adult is just seeking some medical care, we would clarify um, in, clarify that a report to law enforcement isn't necessarily mandated at that point, that the medical professional isn't mandated to make a report. It doesn't mean that a report can't happen or won't happen, it just means that the victim has a little bit more choices about when and where law enforcement is involved, um, especially if they're just seeking medical care. So this is an approach that we've seen nationally. We see that when victims are given more choices and options and feel that they have some power and control over what happens with their case and their lives, um, there's a better outcome in the law Long run. Um, we think it's a trauma-informed way to approach these issues and a trauma-informed way to make sure that victims are getting the care and support that they need. So again, this is Senate Bill 128. Uh, if you have any questions about it, let us know. Uh, the bill is having its first hearing in the Senate Judiciary Committee on Wednesday, February 11th. And as always, we would love it if our CICASA members and partners and stakeholders, survivors around the state can take a look at this legislation, take a look at the fact sheet, all of which is on our website, and think about contacting members of the Senate Judiciary Committee um, and telling them to pass Senate Bill 28, uh, 128 and explaining why it is important for uh, victims to have some control over what happens with their cases, explaining that it's important for victims to have different reporting options. Uh, so thank you so much for your consideration. Uh, you'll see some talking points at the end of this presentation. You'll also see the contact information for Senate Judiciary Committee members. So take a few minutes to use your voice on this issue and definitely let me know if you have any questions. Questions.